we're going to write polynomials in standard form. And standard form for a polynomial is defined as having the terms written from highest to lowest degree. So the highest degrees come first. Within each degree, it doesn't matter as much. I prefer alphabetical, but you're welcome to leave them in the order that the problem gives them to you in, and you won't be marked wrong. But if they're not the same degree, then the higher degrees have to come first. For instance, if we have x cubed minus 3x to the fourth plus 2x plus 5x squared minus 3, we start by identifying our highest term, which is our degree 4, or minus 3x to the fourth, followed by our x cubed, then our 5x squared, then our 2x, and finally our minus 3. So now our polynomial is written from highest degree to lowest degree. If we're given something like 2x squared minus 3xy plus 5y squared, where we have multiple variables, we just look at each term. This is degree 2, degree 2, degree 2. Everything's degree 2, so the order doesn't matter, but we like it because it's in alphabetical order. There's two x's, then an x and a y, then two y's. That's my preferred way, but it doesn't really matter when they're all the same degree. Okay, as our last example, suppose we have 3ab cubed plus 2a squared b squared minus 3a cubed b minus 2ab plus a squared b. Now we're going to go through and we're going to identify our powers. This is degree 4. 4, 4, 2, and 3. Remember, just add the exponents together. If you don't see an exponent, but you do see a variable, it's degree 1. Well, our 4s are okay. I personally swap these two, because a cubed b seems more to me in order, but it doesn't really matter. Notice that, again, these three don't matter as much, but this one does. The 3 has to come next, and it's followed by the two. So this is now in standard form.